Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna go over seven bags that I think that you should buy or at least look into if you're new to collecting handbags. I just made a video of seven handbags that I think you should absolutely avoid if you're just starting out your collection. This is obviously gonna be the complete opposite of that. There are so many bags on the market. There are so many options. There are so many things that you can choose from, but I just feel like I wanted to hand pick seven things that I think are gonna, they're gonna fit your needs. So if you guys wanna know which seven bags those are, then please just keep on watching. But wait, you already know what I'm gonna say. If you're not already subscribed, explain yourself. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I feel like you're gonna wanna be here when I do. If you like luxury, you like handbags, you like fashion, you like seven bags to start off your collection, I feel like it's definitely where you're gonna wanna be, so you should subscribe if you're not already, and you should follow me over on Instagram if you're not already. It's just Kate Danger. I post every single day over there. Every day is a real outfit of the day. Some random shit on stories. We post a lot over there. We definitely do. So if you like any of that, you should follow me over there if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into the video. What this is, I truly have no, like what is that? So just in case you guys did not see it in my last video, I think that what you're looking for when you're starting out your collection, when you have like three or less bags, which I said a million times in that video, I think what you need is a bag that has versatility, a bag that goes with everything, a bag that converts from day to night, and a bag that is durable. So that's kind of what I'm going for with my picks for today. My first pick is gonna be from Fendi, and that is gonna be Probably shocking to you, but the Fendi First. Now, I don't have a Fendi First in my collection, although I can't lie, I do I do love the Fendi First, and I do look at it pretty often. I think this, especially in like a nice like caramel or even like the light, I think it's called Poudre color. Did I make that up? I might have. I just love this bag so much, and I think this is one of the best bags for you to get if you're starting out your collection, and here's why. This bag is beautiful as a clutch. This bag also has a crossbody strap if you get it in the small size. I think if you go up to like the midi or the medium size, it's not really crossbody, it's more of a shoulder bag. I just think that the leather that Fendi uses is definitely durable, and if you don't have more than like three bags in your collection, I think this is a really good one to give a look at. And on top of that, the price point for what we're used to, I think it's around $3,000, obviously depending on the size that you get. I love the thicker strap that comes with the medium size, but I know a lot of people like thinner straps. So if you are the kind of person who likes a thinner strap, definitely hit up the small size. And again, it cross bodies beautifully. If you have this bag and you wanna wear it as a clutch, instead of just having like D-rings chilling out like outside your bag, you can just kind of flip them inwards and it doesn't even look doesn't even look out of place. And I just, it's just, it's so good. It's so, so quick voiceover because I actually decided after I filmed this video that I wanted to change my second pick to the Dior Lady D Joy. This bag I feel like is the perfect addition to a small collection because you have so many different options with how to wear it. You have two straps that come with it, a shoulder strap that is more on the dressy side. It has a more of like a chain detail to it. Then you have a cross body strap, which will help you dress it down a little bit. Then you have the Dior Charms, which is obviously a very classic Dior feature to any handbag. And I like this over the Lady Dior only because I feel like it's more versatile. The Lady Dior, I feel like, is a very dressy bag. It's more of like a date night or like a nighttime bag. This bag, I feel like, definitely transitions a little bit better to the daytime. It comes in so many different colors, so many different sizes. I think you have the micro, the small, and the medium. I personally recommend the small. I think that's kind of the best of both worlds, like the Goldilocks of all the sizes. And of course, the price point is a little bit more friendly than the Lady Dior bag. Those are like over $6,000 now, and this is a little bit cheaper than that. So I definitely think this is a great one. My third pick, again, I feel like is shocking. This is from Louis Vuitton. I don't think most people would expect that this would be one of the bags that I think that you should start your collection out with. But again, I need you to hear my reasoning. The Petit Mal is just unbeatable in my opinion. And I think if you're going to Louis Vuitton, first of all, it's one of my absolute favorite bags that Louis Vuitton makes. This bag transitions probably, it's probably the best bag on this entire list that goes from day to night. Because it's in monogram, it can be dressed down and you have a crossbody strap 
and you can really just throw it on and like go to the mall throw it on and go shopping throw it on meet your mom for brunch i think it works so well during the day it works so perfectly at night you just literally take off the crossbody strap and there you go you have the most beautiful structured clutch and it's not a bag that looks like it's out of place as a clutch it's not like a random like it doesn't it doesn't look any different really except that the strap is off and it just dresses it up a hundred times and yes it is a monogram bag and I feel like monogram at night is not like it was not my favorite thing but on this bag because it's so hard like it's literally a hard trunk it works and I absolutely love it if I was building my collection from scratch like no bags I definitely think this is probably one of the first ones that I would get. I don't think monogram matches everything, but I do think it matches a lot. So this bag is definitely a great one to transition from day to night, but at the same time, it matches so many outfits and it's just, it's a hard trunk. So you know, it's not delicate. It's really, it's one of my favorites. Number four is a pick from Gucci. It's weird because I don't really talk about Gucci that much on my channel, but I have spoken about this bag before and for good reason. It's the Gucci Jackie bag. I freaking love this bag. I love it so much. I love it so much. If you're starting out your collection, you shouldn't go for something like the Gucci bamboo top handle bag, which I also really, really love. But I said you shouldn't go for that just because it has like a really delicate bamboo handle. And I don't think anything that is that delicate should be one of your first couple bags. I think if you're on bag like 15, like sure, throw on a delicate bag. But when you're just starting out, you need something that's gonna go with everything. And the Gucci Jackie, in my opinion, in a smaller size especially, I think it's definitely gonna fit that. So. It works because you can use this as a crossbody bag, okay? But you wanna dress it up, you wanna go on date night, which by the way, I did just come back from date night. If you wanna do that, you got the option, especially if it's the smaller one. It looks so good as an evening bag if you're going out like to a restaurant. You got a nice dress on and you're like, ooh, what should I use? Gucci Jackie. It's gonna work for you. And I also love the fact that this is one of the more quiet luxury bags. Like, yes, if you look at this, most people know that it's Gucci, but it's not screaming that it's Gucci. Honestly, the Jackie is one of my favorite bags right now, and I just feel like you can't go wrong with it. No matter what occasion you wanna wear this, so unless you're trying to go to the Met Gala, like, don't wear the Jackie to the Met Gala, but if you wanna wear it, like, literally anywhere else, you wanna wear it to I have to get pancakes, like, go ahead, do it up. It's gonna look fantastic. My Celine pick is going to be the 16. I am very, I'm very on board with the 16. You guys know this already. I probably would suggest the mini if you're really, like, you have two or three bags. I think the mini is probably gonna fit your needs the best. With this bag, you have structure. You have those ladylike features, but at the same time, it looks like it's a little it's a little business bitch type bag, okay? It's like Kelly Kapoor, the business bitch. It's giving off the vibes. But at the same time, you can transition this from day to night. And I also think because this is, again, one of those bags that's not shouting Celine, I think it says Celine like this big on the bag. I think it's something that you can have for a really long time. It's very timeless. The silhouette, the turn lock, the little handle, and you have a longer strap. So if you wanted to wear it during the day to go shopping or to run errands, you absolutely could do that. I think this is a fantastic one to add to your collection. I love this in black. I think everybody loves this in black. If you're starting out your collection, like it's it's really, it's a good, it's a good choice, man. Believe me. Number six is gonna shock you. It's gonna enrage you. You're gonna be mad, but listen, you cannot deny that the Loewe Flamenco bag is one of the most versatile bags on the market right now. You can't deny me this. You can't. You guys know I love the puzzle and seriously, like, the way I've been fighting the urge to add a puzzle bag to my collection is crazy. It's crazy how I've been fighting it. But really, the puzzle bag is too casual. It's like a one-trick pony. Like, it's casual and that's it. So I couldn't pick that bag for this. And to be honest, the Flamenco is just... It works so well for so many different occasions. If you want to go to the mall, you've got two, not one, two strap options that come with the bag, okay? You've got the thicker Loewe strap and you've got the thinner strap. So you can really, I mean, obviously it depends on what size you get, but I think it really works either way. So you can completely dress the bag down. Like you can have a little sweatshirt on, a little sweats moment, you know, some Nikes and just throw your Loewe flamenco bag and it looks fantastic. Not only that, if you want to go out at night, you just take the straps off completely and you have yourself a little clutch. You can cinch it in. You can not, if you want, it closes by the little magnets. So honestly, like, it's, she's a versatile queen, okay? And the price point is very friendly, very friendly. There are so many colors that you can get in this bag. And yes, I am aware of the fact that I just said that this is an overhyped bag. And I still think that that's true because people really, 
they hype this bag up like to the nth degree. But I also think because Loewe is one of those brands that is never really shouting, except for the thicker strap, I think it does say Loewe on it. But if you don't use the thicker strap, if you use the thinner strap, I think it's a very quiet bag. So it's not really gonna just like completely go out of style one day. And I, I kinda, you know, it's, vers it's a versatile queen. I can't lie, okay? The, the facts are there. They're there. I'm not. I'm not biased. Okay. I can. I can see it for what it is. And the last bag, which is my personal favorite bag from the entire list, you might have noticed. I did not mention Chanel, and this is what I'm about to mention. Here it is. This is the pick. So my pick from Chanel is the Wallet on Chain, and I do not have a Wallet on Chain in my collection. But listen, when I say that I am gonna get one, I am gonna get one. I have recently become obsessed with the Wallet on Chain. It is like. It is the only bag that's on my radar right now is a wallet on chain, which is so off brand for me because I have been so, and I mentioned this in a previous video, I'll link it right up here. I've been so anti walk for the longest time, but the wallet on chain is really just, it's doing something for me. I keep seeing people on Instagram, like styling them and I'm like, damn, like I can really use one of those. But that's obviously not the reason that it's on this list. The reason I added to this list is because this is one of the, and it's not just from Chanel. This is a very general statement. A wallet on chain is the solitary most versatile bag that you can have in your collection. That is just facts. That is just facts. You get it from Saint Laurent, you get it from Hermes, you get it from Gucci, you get you could get it from any fashion house. I'm sure they all have one. And honestly, ooh, Celine, Celine has like the Triumph wallet on chain. So beautiful, honestly. I probably would prefer that actually over the Triumph bag, just saying. It's so low key and so small that it pretty much goes with everything. And then at night, obviously you tuck the chain in or depending on which brand you're gonna get it from. Like if you don't get the Chanel one, you can probably remove the strap, like for Hermes, I think you can remove the strap. But for Chanel, you would have to tuck the chain in, you carry it as a little clutch and you're good to go. I am a lambskin girl. Let me just say that before I finish my sentence. I am a lambskin girl, I love lambskin. But I think if you're getting a wallet on chain and especially, especially if you only have like three bags or less, you need to get caviar. That is just what it is. Lambskin is definitely more delicate than caviar. So if you're having three or less bags right now, like if you're just building your collection, you need to get caviar. Please get caviar. If you want like super durable, go for a Saint Laurent wallet on chain because I used to have that bag. And I could have, I could have ran that bag over with my car and it would not have one little scratch on it, okay? It would have been imperfect. And I'm telling you, the leather that Saint Laurent uses is magical. But caviar from Chanel, I would say is very close second, very close second. And honestly, at the end of the day, I like the Chanel wallet on chain the best. The only thing that I would say is the strap on that is long as hell. It is long. It is long. It is, it will come down to like past your knees. It's a long ass chain. You're definitely gonna have to get a shortener or like figure out some type of hack to figure it out. I'm probably gonna get a shortener once I get my wallet on chain. I'm putting it out into the universe. You know who has the best collection of wallet on chains? It's Ozzy from Ozzy's Closet. I'll link her channel up here. I think she just did a bag collection video. She has so many wallet on chains, but they are freaking stunning. She's another person who's completely influencing me to get a wallet on chain. Listen, I am getting one. You can't stop me. But yeah, guys, that is it. Those are the seven bags that I think you should at least look at if you're starting out your collection. How well did I do? I feel like I might have picked some bags that like maybe you weren't expecting. Maybe you thought this was going to go a completely different way. I don't know. Let me know what you thought about my picks in the comments. But really, at the end of the day, what you need is something versatile. I'm going to recommend things that you can transition well, that can fit into your lifestyle in multiple different ways, that can be worn different ways. And that's just what it is. So let me know if you guys think I accomplished that. <laughs> But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. Don't get subscribed if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I post every single day over there. And definitely let me know in the comments what do you guys think are like the main bags that you need to get when you're starting out your collection. I definitely want to know. So let me know. But that's all I have to say. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I can't speak English. So did you think I could? Because apparently I can't. I'm so thirsty.